This video is sponsored by Hanko Trade. Hanko Trade is a forex brokerage that allows you to trade forex, cryptocurrencies, commodities, and indices with 500 leverage. Their withdrawal times are very fast, up to 24 hours from the time that you request it. And one of my favorite features about Hanko Trade is the fact that you can trade micro lots on indices and you don't have to worry about it blowing your account, unlike other brokerages where a micro lot is like trading a standard lot on Forex. You can also deposit and withdraw in several different types of cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and so on. They also include up to 100% of an equity bonus, meaning if you deposit $100, they can give you up to an extra $100 worth of equity to help you trade. To get started, visit hankotrade.com or use the link down below this video. Okay, so here I am. I have the Oculus Quest 2. It's a love-hate relationship with Facebook. The downside is, you know, Facebook data collection, but the upside is this is one of the best virtual reality headsets on the entire market and for good reason. I'm about to show you why. So let me go ahead connect it to my computer because you need to download something called virtual desktop on the app store for oculus quest but i want to show you how simple it is to actually connect your computer to your oculus quest headset and you can wirelessly control it this is my first time ever using this by the way i haven't tried this out this is my first time doing this and i'm doing it live here on my video for you but i did see someone else do this for twitch they were doing it because they were watching youtube videos and they were just testing out how they can control their computer so i figured why don't we do this for trading so let's check it out and let's go. So let me put my headset on and let me go ahead and start recording for you. There we go. I am officially now recording on my Oculus headset. So you should be able to see what I'm seeing. You see my controllers and you see here I am on the app store. So let's go to the store right here and let's go and search virtual desktop right here. So this is the application that I'm using right here, virtual desktop. I believe it was like 10 or $20, but I will tell you it's pretty worth it. If you go here to immersed desktop and coworking, I think this would be an even better alternative if you want to have an environment where you are with other people. So imagine if you have your own avatar within this immersed environment and you have four other people with an avatar, it's like as if you're standing next to people. I haven't tried this out yet. If you wanna see me try this for another video, maybe I'm trading with other people who have this headset, let me know in the comment section. Maybe you have an Oculus Rift and you wanna trade with me in virtual reality. Let me know, hit me up on Instagram and maybe we could try this out. But in this video, I'm just gonna try out the virtual desktop that I have. So I'm gonna go here to apps and I'm gonna click on virtual desktop. Now, I already have it connected, so you have to go to your computer and you have to download an application. And there we go. So I already have it downloaded and I just connected it. Wow, look at this. What the? <laughs> I have my own coffee. I have my own coffee. I have a speaker. Look, I have my own painting. Wow, oh, look at this. <laughs> Is this trader goals or what? You have your own apartment. Look at this. Look, what is that? An Xbox or a PlayStation? That, that looks like an Xbox. I'm pretty sure that's an Xbox. Wow. Wow, okay, let's check this out. So let's open up Chrome. And the downside is you're, you're trying to hold this as straight as possible, but you can't because you're holding it as straight as possible, but it keeps on moving. So when you're holding it and you're trying to press Chrome, see, it moves it. It's like as if you're holding it down, but I'm just trying to press it. There we go. So Chrome is opening. And let's open up Trading View. So let's go ahead and open up Trading View. Okay. Now you press the button on your controller to pull up the keypad. There we go. Trading View, enter. So there is a bit of a lag considering it's wirelessly connecting it to your computer. Think of it like a VPS. It's kind of a bit of a lag. Let's open up the chart. I already bought some stocks of ADT. I'm expecting it to go to $14. There we go. So check this out. So if you want to zoom in and out, you use this button. You can use either one. It's the scroll. It's the, the mouse, my bad. You use the, the wheel. So you move it up or down and it zooms in or out. So that's, that's how you zoom. Uh, but right now, I'm actually predicting ADT is going to go from 883 up to a minimum of 13 to $14. So almost I'll be doubling my 5000 to hopefully 10000 within a week or two. So that's my prediction for ADT. But anyway, see, this is pretty cool. Let's say you hate your environment. Let's say you live in an area where it's, it doesn't look the best and maybe it, it, you, you're not in the mood for trading. When you just hop in here to a virtual environment and look at this, I have my own crystal. Look at this. Okay, let's change the environment. Let's check out what other environments we have. Let's go to the very beginning. We have a black void. That's it. We're, we're literally just in a black void. 
Let's go to gray. Changes it from black to gray. And let's do purple nebula. Check it out. We're, we are in space. We are in space right now. Okay. Oh, should I say Bitcoin rocketed up to the moon? And that's where we're at. We're in space because of Bitcoin. Uh, space sky. So look at that. Wow. This is pretty amazing. And you want to make sure you are sitting down for this because it could get pretty... Your brain is going to get confused. It's going to get confused if you're doing virtual reality for the first time. Sit down this way. You don't accidentally fall over because you think you're falling from the sky. Trust me when I say that. Look at this. So now I'm in my own private home theater. Look at this. Obviously, it's not like 4K graphics or anything, but you actually feel like you you are in your own home theater. Look, you have movies right here that you can select from to watch. But check this out. So here, it's like I'm it's like I have a, a mansion and I'm in my own theater. Look at this. Now, this is going to be a bit harder to use from this distance because it's just like real life. It's a one to one scale. So imagine pointing with a laser pointer and you have to press this button. It gets pretty tough to do. Let's open up MetaTrader. See, every time I try pressing it, I'm just moving. I'm just moving it. So it gets pretty tough. Did I press it? Yeah, perfect. I pressed it. So there we go. I just opened up MetaTrader. There you hear the dinosaur of a noise. Of MetaTrader needs to step up their game. They don't fix their bugs or anything like that. And then they tell you, oh, switch over to MetaTrader 5, but then it's even worse. So anyway, so here's MetaTrader. Let's open uh, back up Chrome. There we go. Okay, now let's change the location. So that's home cinema. Let's check out home theater. Wow. Yo, <laughs> look at this leather. Oh, 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 oh. I was seriously trying to touch the leather. That's funny. You can't touch it, obviously, in real life. But look at this. Look at this theater. Wow. Imagine this. You have your friends. You, you tell each other to hop into this, and you're all just watching the movie with the same home theater vibe. This is pretty amazing. So you could pop up Netflix here on your computer. You could pop up a YouTube video. This is, this is incredible. Let's check out a dark cinema. Wow, look at this. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. This is incredible. Wow. I, VR is the new thing, okay? VR is the future. Look at this. And the funny thing is I'm sitting down, so I actually feel like I'm sitting down in this theater. You have the exit door. You have this. Look at this. Wow. Uh, computer room. Let's check this one out. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so look at this. I have my own keyboard right here. Okay, this is a lot easy. This should be a lot easier to use because it's it's a lot closer. So you want to pretend like you have a, a a laser pointer. That's what it's like. You you have a laser pointer and you have to press here to do that. So let's open up MetaTrader again. Come on, press it, press it. There we go. And let's try. Okay, so the the forex market opens up today. It's Sunday, so it opens up in about fifty minutes. So let's just press order. I just want to show you. Wow. So you can do everything here on your computer. This is connected right to my computer. So watch if you want to sell. Obviously, market's closed, so you can't do anything. But this is this is pretty amazing. So if you want to change your environment, if you feel down for the day, you don't like your environment, maybe it's raining outside and you just feel down. I'm the kind of person where I love rainy days, but if you hate rainy days, you just pop in here to VR and you change your location. Look at this. So look, look at the attention to detail. Isn't that pretty amazing? You can see the, the detail of the cards, of the table. And look at the Star Wars poster. Look at that poster. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Let's change it to a modern apartment during the day. Wow. Check that out. Coffee. Same thing as I showed you before, except it's during the day. It's no longer during the evening. So here's the evening version. And the last one is night. Wow. Nick, I know you're watching this. This is pretty much what your apartment looks like. I'm not even kidding. This is pretty much what, a, what Nick's apartment looks like. Nick from Miami with the dashboard software. This is exactly what his apartment looks like. Yo, <laughs> look at this. I got my own setup. Got, what is that? I'm pretty sure, like I said, that's an Xbox. Whoever built this, shout out to you. This is, this is incredible. I, 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 can't, I don't want to sound repetitive, but man, VR. VR is the future. Now, I will say, if you have two monitors, let's say you have two monitors at your desk, you can technically have a dual monitor setup. So let's go back here to environments and let's say you want to choose the nebula. So we're here at the nebula. See, you can move this around. So you have one screen here, let's say for training view, 
And then if you have a dual monitor setup, I'm pretty sure you could have a second screen right here. I find this to be pretty awesome. Let me go ahead and move this here. And I think I already showed you the scale, but let's reset the view. So you move your head and it'll follow you. You press the trigger and it stops. Now let's try adjusting the height. You move the Oculus Rift up or down and you can stop it right there. Distance, you bring it closer. And look, I have my own screen. I'm like Tony Stark. I have my own, my own interface here. This is pretty amazing. Let's move that back so it's farther away. Uh, here, and let me do curve. So you bring your controllers front and back to adjust the curve. I forgot which one you have to move, but yeah, I like it curved. I think curved looks pretty cool and size. So you move your controllers forward and back and it adjusts the size. I think that's pretty much the, the perfect size right there. You don't want it too big or too small. But I would say out of all of this, my favorite environment is the modern apartment one. That one is pretty impressive. This is hands down hands down my favorite one. But if you just wanna chill for the night and watch a movie, then you kick up your legs here. Like I have my, my little table, my wooden table. I call it my coffee table. I put my feet up and I can watch a movie right here. Or you just hop in here to your home cinema and you can start trading here, right? You can trade. It's just so many endless possibilities of what you can do. I am impressed. I am impressed. Now, for those of you wondering what games I have, let me pull up here my apps. Uh, I have, Star Trek, I have Elven Assassin. I haven't played these games yet, but I have played Contractor, that's pretty fun. Racket Fury, that's ping pong. I play that with my brother, that's awesome. Onward, that's fun. Super Hot, that is definitely one of my favorite games. Arizona Sunshine, that is hands down my favorite game out of all VR games. You have zombies running at you. Imagine a seven foot tall zombie running at you. You actually get freaked out because it's not like a video game like Call of Duty where you're watching a screen, you are in the game. And Beat Saber, that's pretty fun. Population one, I need to play that yet. VR chat, I haven't played that. Um, it's not even a game, you're just chatting with other people in VR. But I'm telling you, VR is the way to go. And I really do see myself doing this when I'm bored. Let's say I have a few trades open that are worth uh, a few thousand dollars. And for the fun of it, I just wanna hop on here, watch some videos while looking at the trade. I think I'll do that. I think this is definitely something I can see myself doing. I, I hope they come out with more environments because this is pretty limited, even though there are some pretty cool ones like the auditorium. This one is definitely a cool one. I can see myself looking at the trades here, but I think the best one for trading would be the uh, modern apartment day and modern apartment evening. But I think a cool one that they could come out with is like a beach environment. Imagine if they had a beach environment or an environment that's like in uh, the Maldives or some places in Europe, I could really see that being a cool environment here. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know if you have a Rift, not a Rift, if you have an Oculus Quest, if you have an Oculus Quest, and if you wanna trade with me in virtual reality, hit me up on Instagram, because I can see this being something really fun to do. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is something where I'm pretty sure people have done this, but I have never seen this at all on YouTube. And if it is there, I haven't looked into it and I haven't found it in my recommended section of YouTube. I haven't seen it in my, hey, this is recommended for you. So I'm not saying people haven't done it. I'm pretty sure I'm not the first one to come up with this idea. Is it practical? Hell no, it is not practical whatsoever to trade in virtual reality. It's more of something fun to do if you're bored. It's just something fun to do with your friends. So that's it for this video. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Now, one thing I will say is you have to make sure that when you're trading, you do not accidentally press sell instead of buy and buy, vice versa. You have to hold your hand so steady when you press that buy or sell button. Otherwise, you are screwed. You are screwed.